How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client is coming in to get a cover-up done. He has a dragon that looks like a snake on his left upper arm with a few stars on the shoulder area, and it is my pleasure to do this cover-up for him. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go! Damn! Go anywhere is that? That's a helicopter. <laughs> oh! Oh! Works? Te voy a poner una canción bien maciza, Kenny. Y... Los cangris. Damn. Yo no soy tu marido. Uh, soy tu marido. Ni tampoco tu hombre. Ey. Solamente el calgri que cuando tú llamas te responde. ¿Cómo dice Kenny? Yo soy tu marido. Ni tampoco tu hombre. <laughs> Solamente el... Tell me how you got this tattoo. Oh. Uh. Well, <laughs> okay, so I got the tattoo, the dragon. It was supposed to be a dragon. I mean, I was 18, young, dumb, and stupid. Uh -huh. So I asked the homie uh, the to homie do came it. Through. And the homie came through <laughs> for 20 bucks. Damn. Um, uh, I get there, puts the stencil on, and he does tell me he has to go to a party. He doesn't tell me what time. He's just like, hey, I gotta go to a party. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, look, I know I booked you, bro, but I got plans later, yeah. right? <laughs> well, I'm not thinking he's gonna rush through this shit. And then his old lady starts nagging him like, don't even do it because we got to go to the baby shower. Oh, Just man. tell him to come back. And all this shit's happening in front of me. And I'm like, are you <laughs> kidding me? So he tells her, you know what? Just give me 20 minutes. Give me 20 minutes. So this mother does this in 20 minutes. Damn. And then he tells me, hey, bro, like, I'll just finish the stencil and I'll, I'll get you back next week. That next week never happened. I'm glad. And, <laughs> <laughs> the, and the stars came after the, the, or this was before? The stars were literally like maybe three weeks before. Damn. Yeah. So. With the same homie? Same homie. Te gusta que te maltraten. Hey, le, hey, le soy fiel a los homies. ¿eh? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so this is the project that we're going to be working on today. Um, we got the dragon, we got the stars. Where I want to place the stencil is, I want to make sure that the end or the face here, the cheek area, the eyebrow, the end of the beard here lands right before the stars so I can use the background to cover up the stars. Because if this lands on the face, um, it's not gonna be possible for me to cover up the stars with the end of the face because this side here is my contrast, I mean my highlight area. <laughs> That's a good stencil. Let's go. All right, check out the placement. Make sure you like it. Yup. Uh, quick little update. I did not record the other side of the face because it was very hard to position my camera. So I'm using a 14 round liner with a voltage of a 5.0 and I just dipped it into my medium gray so I can start creating that effect as it gets closer to the eyelid to make it look like uh, there's an eyelid. <laughs> And on my reference, it is not that dark. Uh, it is uh, on this area here, it is very light. So what I'm gonna do is uh, 
make it a little bit darker because I want more contrast in it. I gotta make sure that it's vibrant and legible. And I'm gonna leave uh, a tiny little negative space here as before uh, the face ends here. So right, it, right before this area, I'm gonna leave that negative space. And once I'm adding white highlights, I'm gonna do a very bright line right there and it's gonna stand out like crazy. And that is gonna separate the hair and the, and the eye socket. There you go, that's the word I was looking for, the eye socket. Later on, I'm gonna do white highlights right here to make the eye look glossy, or at least the, the bottom the eyelid. So now that I have that, I'm gonna grab my medium gray. I'm gonna mix my medium gray with my lightest gray. And I'm gonna start tackling this little corner here. I need this to be very sharp so I can make sure that the beard stands out. Since I don't have anything to cover up on that area, I'm actually gonna switch to my 11 Curve Mag and I'm gonna brush it. And I'm gonna give it a different look, that way it, uh, it stands out. I'm gonna take advantage of uh, the fact that I have nothing here to cover up. So, start brushing it. And it's gonna look like the face is glowing. So kind of like mixing a little bit of a gray wash and gray tones.
with this shading it looks very square so the way I'm gonna smooth it out is just get that little corner and just lightly fade it out so it won't look too brutal and it looks has a little bit more of a curve to it there you go just enough Thank you guys for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate you. This project was definitely fun. I had a lot of fun uh, throughout the whole process, you know, having to go from color transitioning into gray. And on top of that, it was a cover up. So I definitely challenged myself on this one. Uh, in other news, I am excited to announce that uh, I'm going to have my own website. I am grateful and I'm, I feel so blessed the fact that a lot of you want to book with me and uh, I got too many emails to the point where my inbox got full and I couldn't receive any more emails so definitely got a little bit complicated to book appointments through that website you guys are going to be able to book appointments and if you're an artist and you guys want to attend to my seminar there's going to be uh, an option there to reserve your seat you guys are going to be able to also buy my merch I'm going to be selling t-shirts hats I'm going to be adding artwork prints you know all these things and uh I'm just super happy. I'm, I'm so excited. So if you're an artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.